back. Be back. It's been like a month plus. This is a great game. For some reason, I cannot. Okay, here's the bear. He's gone. <gasps> the bear's left us. It's been so long he left. Yeah, um. It, yeah, it's been uh, a while. Uh. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say about that. I just kind of got distracted, and I've had a lot of stuff going on at the moment. Uh, that just meant that, like, I didn't really have time. And for some reason, the only detractor I can find about Okami is, for some reason... It's in full bloom. With the power of bloom, I bet we could revive the... Yeah, yeah. We, we read that. Um... The only detracting thing is I cannot, once I stop, it's like Pokemon, if I stop, or Monster Hunter, I stop those games and I will just forget about them and not play them for years or months or months and months and months. And it's like, they're not bad games. I don't remember what these guys do. They blow stuff up, apparently. Oh, I missed. Shoot him. Oh! I got him. Oh! Why can't I do the thing anymore? The slash. Oh, because he's dead, I guess. Just wasting ink over here. If you can waste ink, I mean. Oh, well, that's nice. Now the piggies have come back. For hands? What do they like? Herbs, meat, fish. Are uh, these pigs carnivorous? Are they herbivorous? Oh. Did I just waste it in there? Um, they like seeds. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like, for some reason it's one of those games where it's a fantastic game and you're just like, I will never play this game. And then you get the game and you're like, I really need to play this game. And then it takes you six months. I bought this game originally in January, I think. February? Um, alongside, like, a bunch of games that I've all completed now. For some reason. Oh, look at him, he's so happy. Ah. They're happy, and I get praise from the piggies. Look, he's so happy, they're so happy. It's a nice game. Oh, animal. New. Ball. These cowardly animals charge when threatened. They enjoy seeds. Or piglet. These seed eating babies have stripes. Okay. <laughs> Basically, stuff that you could see, or they just added as flavor text. Okay. Oh, well, that's nice. I remember doing that. I don't really need to do it again. Off we go to find the plant I left behind. It's a bloom function again, it's this one, right? Oh, now he's a happy tree. So it's such a wholesome game from my usual shit, like Doom and uh, 
which is just all like hardcore murder and stuff. Statue's all dirty. Oh, can't clean it or anything. Ah, uh, that looks evil. Kill it with your brush. Ah, oh, yeah, like literally fill it like rejuvenation rather than blue. Ah, oh, that helps if I actually look at it and fill it in the screen. There we go. Is that enough of it? Spread tips. Oh, whoops. Uh, there was a scroll here. Looks like this is a regular thing. Well, I'll read it in a minute. <coughs> this is a nice game. It's a really nice game. Oh, I thought I'd done the song and it was like looking at the grass. Like, look at it. Poke holes in the ground with dots. The ink becomes as a seed, and trees sprout forth. Confounding foes, a life force is vegetation. It's the bane of evil. Okay, can we just do that now? Cool. I am in trees. Ginseng. Looks like a carrot. Yeah, it's like one of these games where it's really nice and I'm like, I need to play this. The LP basically commits me into like actually playing it, but also kind of holds me back at the same time. So it's like, then I have to set up the recording and then I have to think of fun things to say. So yeah, like actually it was maybe a bad idea to LP it. Having oh, having never actually played it before, but yeah, it's not like it's very difficult. Yeah, let's actually try not to circle it or anything. There you go. They're coming. Glad this is one of those trees where they make all the fruit and all the vegetables. Look, they're dancing. I feel like we shouldn't uh, disrupt them. So far these encounters have not been too hard, so that's like a good thing. But they are actually hitting me this time. Because before I was like, yeah, I can just dance around these guys and they don't do shit. Oh, he's dead. Haha, <laughs> killed your stringed instrument of some kind. Dead. <laughs> to be honest, I was thinking again of getting the Crash Bandicoot series and LP that because I was such a hardcore fan, but like, yeah, that's good. I haven't really used any of those items yet. Oh, that's nice. I keep saying that. We're restoring everything as we go through. I think that's pretty good. Colors kind of seeped out of the recording, but this is all green. Uh, it's actually kind of washed out. In the, uh... Can you see the rainbow? Yeah, you can see the rainbow. 
Uh, ooh, what we got here? Monks. Monk. What do monkeys like? They like herbs. Wait. They like herbs. They like seeds. Everything like seeds. Does anything eat anything else? I guess we'll meet cats at some point or something. The fishies. The monks will be happy. I'm drinking a peach beer. It's called a... Oh. A Petures by Lindemans. And honestly, it doesn't taste the best. I was hoping for something a bit better. It kind of tastes somewhat like peach flavored vomit. Although I might be being melodramatic. The monks are happy. The monka. Funky monks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a very different LP from all my other LPs because I'm not really going to be talking much and it's just me going, this is nice as we wander through a garden. Hey, I'm going back on myself. Down the hill. I feel like the difficulty is quite easy actually because you can just go back and forth and unlock stuff for a second time, can't you? Because all the pots respawn, so if you're like low. Digging tips. Digging tips. Gotta dig those tips. Press triangle to dig holes. The simple act has great depth. Spots appear empty and they emit light in the darkness. Dig with the, the, in these spots. What? Ah, light in the darkness. Find great treasures. Oh yeah, notice the green glow in areas with less vegetation. Dig the hand to reveal a world to clover. Use a brush to rejuvenate. This will give you much praise. Such wow. Oh, let's look at the, the, the new animal. Oh, this is the radiums. Cut the strings of the brush. Yeah, I know that. Nice drawing there. The really nice art, really nice attention to detail with the these. It's really pretty. This is a yellow imp. I meant animal bestiary. Uh, mischievous creatures travel in groups and eat almost anything except for herbs, apparently. Ah, oh, treasure time. Let's just look at the trick. I mean, like, high level content, I know. Well, that's nice. Okay. So I slightly in the wrong place. Oh. Wait, it's a re. No. Why is bloom, but it's still. Yeah. And he's rejuvenated. Look, it's very happy. It's a happy place. Can I just make these wilted trees rejuvenate? Oh my god, I can! Yeah, I've been walking by them. You will save this world. One tree at a time. This is nice. I keep saying that. It's a, ni it's a nice game. It's nice. Ah, the monkeys are coming. Oh, it's now night. The monkeys are coming to steal my peaches. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. Oh, the sleeping monkeys. I thought they were birds. <laughs> My eyesight. Ooh! Uh huh. Dead. One. Ah, there it is. 
yes. Ooh. Coral fragment. Hunker Coral said to have been brought from the Dragon Palace. And they just left it over here, okay. Ah, there we go, just made it. Yeah, is that safe? Uh, okay. Just started up another playthrough, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, that's a new technique in the back now. Before you get all excited, go over there. An important tip. Oh, so basically just, uh, that's your current objective if you ever forget what you were supposed to be doing. Because you left the LP for too long. <laughs> This will probably be the mainstay of the channel actually for a while because it's a long ass game and uh, I've been kind of nameless man. You could just ask his name. Freaky! Looks like the river suddenly cleared up. I did see Susanna was in passing in the water. It surely wasn't him who cleaned up the river. Nah, that wouldn't make any sense. He's a fucking loser. Uh, oh, there's these flag dudes so they kind of look like a Pokemon. Probably have become a Pokemon since. Uh, let's not stand in the goop. But let's find the tree I'm supposed to bring life to and I'll probably get rid of these haunted poops. Ah! Oh no! No, the curse! Probably make the lands less cursed. Surely, right? Yeah! Ghosts don't matter. They're not real. They don't deserve a habitat to live in. Life prevails. Ghosts get such a raw deal, don't they? Everybody dies sometime. And they're all like, oh yeah, ghosts equals bad. Like, it's just some poor guy who didn't pass through the void properly. What am I talking about? I don't know if this beer is alcoholic, it just tastes like peaches. Should have stayed on brand and had a Japanese beer. Drink a lot of Kirin Ichiban lately. It's a very nice beer. Hashtag not spawn. Uh, nasty curse zone is completely gone. All the ghost types are gone. You should have called them when you had the chance. Plants and animals are back. Just feel that fresh grizz. I like quite great divine intervention. If you keep up on dispelling the evil curse like this, I bet the gods of nature will lend you their powers. Great. That's quite. Oh, look, another tree. Oh, no, it's just. Oh, we don't have to. That's not our next objective. Hey! That's Sakuya's tree. Oh, he's crossed over. Playthroughs. The racist pigeon is back. Maybe she poked up because you revived a guardian sapling. Oh, it's the peach lady. Let me stop by and see her. Kind of on a roll here. How about we take a look around Shinshu Field first? You've been gone a hundred years, right? A good run around the place will do ya good. Fleeing battle. Useful, you say. Good. How to run away like a huge chicken. No, oh, well, that's not what I wanted at all. Chickening. The demon's grudges may take form as what is known as a demon scroll. Physically contacting these scrolls draws you into a dynamic. <laughs> You will doubtless find yourself under attack. Battles desperate, often they wish to avoid. May find crack. <laughs> I could have read that better. <laughs> um, you could attack it, breach the border, and make yo escape. Cool. 
Let's go. Let's go find some stuff to dig. Oh! Yeah! Traveler's Charm protects travelers from danger. It increases gold growth by one level. Oh, yeah, we, we, we know. Oh, just shut up, Ethan. You're not important. <laughs> you are for expositing, but then you exposit the wrong things and it's slightly out. Oh. Whoa, what's up with the old gate? I don't like the old gate. You going through it? No, we are not. There's still ghosts here, that's bullshit. Let's talk to some peeps. Uh, sir. Ow, ow. Life is pain. Need a never trips up. I've fallen and I can't get up. Please help me. Must be a curse. It's best messenger either. I don't have time for falling over. People are waiting for mail. These monsters must have set some kind of trap for me. Oh. Hey, Pooch. Yeah. You stole my. I didn't met anyone who legitimately uses the word pooch. You know? What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's how he. No wonder his back hurts. Oh my. Oh my god. What was that? Oh, what is this? Get a load of the face. Hee hee hee. I'm a prick. <laughs> oh. There's a crack. Pink <laughs> breeze. Coming from the crack. Be worth our while to knock the wall down. Fork. You sure? <laughs> well, I thought I'd try that just fine. What? Maybe it's a power I don't have yet. Maybe I forgot a power. Shut up. What is that? Is that the end credits in the sky? Oh no, it's a sign. Feed. The bun. What the buns like? They like herbs. Oh my god, something finally ate my herb. The herb. Rabbits like the herb. Haha, <laughs> 420. Every weed joke. Directory of weed jokes. Let's go for something obscure like some Pete Tosh reference. The rabbit now go a jail. For Ganja no more. Sounds so horrible when I say it. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's a little bum. Bum bum bum. Oh, he's a fucking, fucking asshole. Did you see this eater? Like, look at him. Oh my god. He's like, he runs like a character in Ed, Ed and Eddie runs. You know, that kind of bullshit, nobody runs that way run. It's like... Ugh. Okay, so that's the forest. Let's go look in here. Oh, there's a horse. Horse? What the horse? Horses eat meat. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Well, at least he didn't actually take my traveler's charm. It's just, uh, you offer it and he gets up and then you just still have it in your inventory. It's very forgiving. Oh. Why, thank you. Someone hide head resources in these flat planks. Everyone loves a flat plank every now and then. Wreck this guy's house. The stuff I don't actually really need. I've got a ridiculous amount of yen and I haven't used any items. Pigos! Ah, oh, what a pretentious sign. That, that's a dojo. People love sword fighting. 
A good wolfie. I want to feed the pigs. Shut up. Pigs eat seed. Oh, yeah, they do. Pigs eat anything. <laughs> pigs will eat other pigs if you were to give them a dead pig, which is real fucked up when you think about it. So I've been in debate recently with some of my friends who are JoJo fans about whether or not part 6 is ever going to get animated and the argument is pretty like difficult back and forth you know because it's like well you know they've kind of got it now because they've done part 5 and everyone wants to see everything else and a lot of people don't read the manga or don't really know what's going on no kitty no he's trying to steal the screen Yeah, I want to jump on that. There's a lot of like arguments back and forth for what can they get away with, and won't it like be basically unbroadcastable on a lot of the stuff that like would normally like. You gotta remember, just recently that interspecies review. It, what was it called? Interspecies reviewers was released, <laughs> and for some strange reason. I mean, they keep showing us these, like they're a regular occurrence, so we just, I assume they're like a challenge room or a battle encounter. Yeah, there we go. Where? Now. Fight me like a ham. And like, I'm pretty sure that got taken off a crunchy roll. Which is normally a sign that, uh, oh, there's another. Sick. Sawdust dark. Ah. Smoking sexy style. Covered him in ink like the squid squidward I am. Are you dead yet? Children of Bodom are asking. Ah. <laughs> oh wing. I don't know which one's my health bar, I'm just assuming I'm doing fine. Dead. I killed him. No one will go to his funeral. It's going to be the kind of funeral where DJ shows up for some reason. Oh, well that's nice. It adds like some Viva Pinata shit in the front there. That's nice. I'm gonna go back and do the other gate now, like I probably should have done. They're called Devil Gates. They've got a lot of nerve. Monsters coming over to our realm, building their stupid cultural buildings. Tear those cultural buildings down. I'm just saying, man, we go into the gates and just clean them out. <laughs> oh, fuck it now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Fuck. <laughs> well, that didn't. That's not gonna age well. Holy shit. Hey, man, I'm not. I'm just gonna stop talking. Why does everything sound bad when you just add stuff like I'm just saying, man, to it? <laughs> like, you know? You just say anything and it just makes it sound like, oh shit, someone's going off on one. I'm just gonna ignore that messenger, his walk is ridiculous.
That's nice music. Yeah, so Jojo, I was thinking, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on in part six, which is like, how are you going to frame this without literally just cutting it like the coward you are, you know? Because, like, they cut some stuff in part five, which I was very surprised about, actually. I didn't realize. Because I didn't, I didn't read the manga. I don't know where to get manga, so I don't read the manga. Uh, like, because I'm a nerd. No, it's like drugs, man. I'm too lame to be able to get drugs because I don't have any cool friends who know guy who sells drugs. So, you know, can't get the weeds. Every time it's like a friend of a friend, you know, and they're like, oh yeah, I know a guy. It's like, well, hey man, you can hook me up with the, the, the mangas or the weeds. And they're just like, yeah, I don't want to get involved in that shit, and like, oh, I don't want to even ask him for you, and you're like, but I want my, my golden weed. <laughs> and then they're like, no, you weeb, you weed weeb, and I'm like, oh. And it's basically the same thing where everyone's just like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. You know what's going to help me find the, 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 the mangas? And I'm too cheap to actually buy anything. Hey, we fed the bunnies. You get nothing. You lose. Okay. So we did another one. That was nice. Oh, there's a ghost. There's a ghost. The King Boo. Oh, there's a pot. Smash the pots. You obtained the herbs. Oh, God. Drug references. <laughs> Why am I ruining this pure game with my bullshit? <laughs> Why? We were going up here. We crossed the bridge. Then I got distracted by gates. The safe and out the gate. Wait, this isn't the way. Huh? I'm somewhere else. Arriving somewhere, but not here. How many references to shit that nobody understands can I put in? Two shrine. Oh, I was just. Just, I will get to the dojo at some point. I like the signs. The signs help. Weird choice, but I like it. You know, I can I can take it. Uh, is there anything down here? It feels a waste not to have something down here. Is there anything worthwhile down here? Is it just pots? What are you? Um, what kind of offering? How do I leave things as an offering? Maybe I don't have anything, or I haven't learned the skill yet. We'll do that later. I feel like we've got to be out of order with stuff now, because I was running around like an idiot. Moon Shrine, well. Before visiting the Moon Cave. Good job, it's night time then. Unless that has no bearing at all. Oh, what are you doing, sir? Oh dear me, this is awful, says Mika. Rainbow Mika? Priest of Moon Shrine Rainbow Mika. Most welcome guest has wandered into my shrine. The timing is immaculate, Wolf. Outside is Link Harami, Nippon's largest lake. Old shrine called Moon Cave completely disappeared. Them's the breaks. Um, Nagi and Shirin Oh no. His name was No, I'll be cursed if I say it. Oh, Aruchi. 
The point is, what on earth happened to the shrine? It's guarded day and night by Chalmers the Walker. He's come out of Final Fantasy and into this. On the one occasion he has to go back to the city, this happens. Oh dear. Oh dear. I, I broke your barrel. I sort of... Coolio. Cool and the gang. True, it has just dis... Oh. God, another world. Can we go back to the dojo? I'm just sorry. I'm just kind of prowling around the open world. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's like a Zelda game. It suddenly opened up and I'm like, Oh, choice! Decide a phobia! I know what's the right thing to do, so I'm just going around filling my crazy meters up and cleaning the world up from the dupe. Well, this tree is being a bit of an ass. There you go. Let's eat some food. Nama nama nama. Dig. Time to digs. Digs beef. Three beef. Get a special reward. Special. Ah, uh, cute dokery. So yeah, Stone Ocean is uh, apparently part five. Yeah, like I was saying. They removed some of the more kind of dodgy scenes that were like, uh, like for some reason they looted Trish a lot more in the uh, manga, like Fugo or like Mista or someone saw Trish's nips and was like, oh, Segoy, and they removed that from part five so that it was a little less pervy because she's like, I don't know, 15 or something, and like internationally everyone would be like, stop doing this, Japan. <laughs> and then it would be like, uh. But lately, with remakes of a lot of Japanese games going forward, and a lot of like adaptations of older, older Japanese mangas. Oh, that was a quick evening. Um, oh, and the pots came back. Uh, you're noticing that a lot of the themes and things that made those things uncomfortable are just being changed to be like, okay, not cool, and you're seeing a lot of those changes happen, and it's like, to be honest, some of those things really needed to change. Like, I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, but the big thing that I heard people talking about on podcasts gaming podcasts and stuff was uh what was it <laughs> it was uh there was an evil character and in the first version of Final Fantasy 7 he was like yo this chick Aerith seems pretty important right oh I can't do this yet and she's got special DNA so why don't we just abduct her and force her to get raped by various animals that we have in our test site for breeding purposes and it's like oh great so this quite young girl you're essentially as the villain saying we should abduct her and force her to be bred <laughs> and you're like um wow okay yeah let's not go over that theme and like they adapted it apparently in the later one to that's still there, but, like, the guy who suggests it is basically just ignored and sandbagged, and they're like, no, that's disgusting. Whereas before it was like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, <laughs> kind of like, a, yeah, well, we should do that. And it was, like, potentially a point to their evil plan. And you're like, oh, my fucking god. Japan just did not pull punches in a certain era and was just like, I know what'll make people hate the villain. Make them pedophilic rapists. And it's like, it will also make most people hate the writer. <laughs> like, you know? I don't think they realize that, like, it has such a, like, negative... And it's like, people have suffered from these things in real life. And it's not saying you can just go, Ha-ha! 
casual plot point. You know, it's not something that people are chill with in that way. It's like casually just didn't put rape in your fucking thing. Ooh, Kishman. Oh, I like this guy. He looks cool. Oh, he looks like a pain to fight, though. <laughs> nice work. Oh, the fish is attacking. Fishy, no. Oh. Yeah, and that's the same thing with, like, Jojo. Where Araki's, like, literally just going, Yo, how can we make people hate Dio? Have him murder a dog. Oh, how can we make people hate people dislike Dio more? Have him murder everyone's favorite characters and some more dogs. <laughs> and you're like, now I just hate this anime. <laughs> like, a, you know, well, it does make you hate Dio, so, like, fair enough. Even though Dio is pretty cool. Legend of Orochi. Scroll, draw, okay, I'm gonna read this. Ah. Oh, this is a law. Oh, no, it's Ninety-nine from one village. A lot of people being born come back in that. You read the message, guess we'll just have to come back to me. Okay. Sure. I'll just steal his stuff while I'm while he's sleeping. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in these that you're just like, okay, you, you know, you can make a antagonist like a bad character without resorting to the really dank shit, you know? Like and the, I bring this up because it's like the main reason, uh, well that's actually not, that's not part six, is it? Because that's uh, the president one, so that's uh, part seven, that's Steel Ball Run. So part six might, yeah, part six can be made. Because it's like the only thing that's really dodgy is the Jolene masturbation scene. And you can just kind of frame that so that nobody sees anything, right? Or just off-screen that whole thing and just say, oh yeah, I was caught, da 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 But like, uh, you know, like they kind of changed a lot of the Trish stuff to make it less creepy as well, and that's fair enough, actually. But like, part seven, you're straight up like, the president of the USA in that universe rapes a 14-year-old girl and then his wife tries to rape her too orally or something. Like she tries to force her to sit on her face or something. And you're just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, of course, of course that happens. And it makes you sit there and think, way to make sure this anime never comes out like you know i mean it can come out it's just that you're going to take what's a highly popular anime and basically stop it from being put on a lot of services where jojo now is being put on netflix and you think that i don't think netflix is going to take a thing where it's like oh you casually rape an underage girl in this and then act like it's nothing basically or for character arc development. Anyway, talk about dank shit on this lovely wholesome game. My name is Sensei Onigiri. He has a big mustache. Fighting master. 